This is Ceanothus griseus horizontalis diamond heights, diamond heights carmel creeper. Um, apparently it was uh, found as a sport of a Ceanothus griseus horizontalis in San Francisco area. And um, so that relates to some of the things that it prefers. And these plants that you're seeing here are in San Francisco in a planting in South San Francisco. And um, so here's the striking thing about it is this foliage color that you see. This is in full sun, but it is in San Francisco where it never gets very hot. Um, 75 to 80 degrees is considered a very hot day there. Uh, so these would prefer, if you're in a hot inland valley, they would prefer part shade, probably protection from the hottest part of the day. And um, so, uh, and but whereas if you're near the coast and it's cooler, these can take full sun as you see here. I would think that these are two to three year old plants. Uh, they say that they get about 12 inches high. None of the ones in this planting are over six inches high. They're very low. Um, very unusual for this type of a Ceanothus, and, but excellent from a plant design standpoint. Here you see four of them out there with the gravel mulch around them and just staying very low. And then the spread, they say, is four to six feet wide. So that seems to be consistent with what I'm seeing. Um, well, variegated foliages in design for me are really a treat. There are a lot to work off of and play with in terms of color play. Uh, like other yellow foliage plants, though, these can burn. So if you get them in a hot area and you put them in full sun, they may not take it very well. Here by the coast, they're taking it just fine, but and that colors them up very nicely. Like Coleonema Sunset Gold is a good example of that. They can burn if you don't give them enough moisture inland, whereas uh, by the coast, they can take full sun no problem. So, you know, be careful about the, the lighting you give these is a, a bigger point. Um, and then in design, let's talk about that. So I'm not a big fan of too much yellow uh, or lime green, whatever we're calling this. And by the way, you see some of the darker green there in the shadier part of those those leaves right there. Well, that's what happens with a lot of uh, plants like this, is if you put them in shade, you will get less of the yellow colorization coloration that you're seeing there. And so just be aware of how that's going to affect what you're designing it to go with because usually what you're doing with something like this in my experience anyway is this is an accent less more so than a show i don't like using this some, something this bright in such a big area or a big sprawl i like to use it as a kind of an impact and um, but too much yellow for me is just too much period so I would be more inclined and in designed to use this in splashes of one or two plants with some very deep greens or some other colors to play off of it um, as a design element these are low water they are not deer resistant Ceanothus griseus horizontalis deer tend to love by the way in my experience so I'm not going to give that a deer rating that uh, you would want uh, but once established, very much a, a, a California native and low water. So that's one of the good things about this one. You can also see that there's a lot of dead leaves trapped in and amongst this. You know, I, I think that's interesting uh, to point out that it makes it hard to maintain. So I don't love the idea of this being under a deciduous tree because to me that just turns into a maintenance headache. So probably uh, would recommend against that. Oh, before I forget, uh, hardiness, 20 to 25 degrees Fahrenheit is the low end of what this can handle. can handle a lot of heat, again, if it's protected from hot afternoon sun, which would cause burning. That is Ceanothus griseus horizontalis, Diamond Heights. Diamond Heights Carmel Creeper. Amazing foliage. Enjoy that one.